campaigns are more likely to surprise you during the first 30 days of your PPC campaign, which is why optimization is crucial during this time. This is why we have put together a step-by-step -step Google Ads optimization checklist to help you get off to a right start with your client's PPC efforts. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications button. You don't want to miss out on our content and our experts addressing questions as they come up. Now let's dive in. Account structure. When you initially set up Google Ads campaigns, there are plenty of Google Ads optimization best practices you need to consider. The most important of these is to build a strong account structure to support a solid foundation for a launch and expect a stellar PPC performance. You can always watch our short clips on the best practices to create a solid account structure. If your clients have a tight budget, advise them to start a single campaign with their top services and with time, add more ad groups and campaigns as performance and budget allow. Always consider your client's objectives and key performance indicators. To optimize your Google Ads campaigns, you must have a clear understanding of what your KPIs are. Establishing your campaign objectives will help you gain a better perspective and outcome for your optimization strategy. The most common KPIs are clicks, click through rate, cost per click, conversion, cost per conversion, conversion rate, and return on ad spend. Step by step guide for your Google Ads campaigns, first month strategy, and optimization. Now that we've got the basics down, let's explore our recommendations after launching your Google Ads campaign. First, we have the 24-hour bid review. Take a close look at the search term for your traffic generating keywords. At times, you will get search queries that are far off from what you're expecting. Analyze a few of those queries to ensure they're aligned with the type of customers you want to attract. Consider the following for higher traffic quality. Long tail keywords are more effective with broad match and BMM. Single keywords should be used with exact match or phrase match type. Your negative keyword list should have at least 300 keywords. Location settings should be targeting people in or regularly in your target location versus default settings people in will show interested in your target location. Suppose you're experiencing no impressions or a low amount of clicks. In that case, you can review your keywords and bidding. Question how competitive your bids are compared to your competitors using the auction insights feature. Also, double check your negative keyword list. There could be a possibility that some of those negative keywords are blocking desired traffic for one of your keywords. Analyze if your daily budget was spent evenly throughout the day. It is common for budgets to be depleted early due to spike CPCs for maximized bidding from day two to day seven. During the first week of your Google Ads campaign, you should perform a daily review of the points I mentioned before. You will have to do this until you reach the desired qualified traffic, which starts with at least 10 clicks per day. And results are aligned with the KPIs you identified before launch. As you collect more data, it will be easier to observe patterns in your audience's behavior and add rec performance. This will help to deduct the best strategy that suits your upcoming optimization efforts. Also, make sure you check for keyword, ad, and ad extension disapprovals. Google usually takes one day to review your campaign, maximum two. Ensure you review your ad status. If you bump with an ad disapproval, keep in mind the following. Your ad should not include copyrighted content. The display and destination URL should lead to the same page. Your landing page content should not be prohibited or have a 404 error. In the case of disapproved keywords, you should avoid using long tail keywords with more than three words. Also, make sure your bid at least at the top of the page bid, and you should always check that your negative keywords are not blocking a particular keyword. Your ad extensions will get disapproved if any of these following cases apply. Your call extensions include verified phone numbers, you included less than two site link extensions, your location extensions includes an unverified address. In general, your marketing team should be familiar with this Google Ads extension policy. Keep in mind that you can always request a review if you believe that your ad was disapproved incorrectly. Before submitting a review, you may want to go over the exceptions listed in the Google Advertising Policy. Day 8. On day 8, you should be able to optimize your campaigns for the first time. This is the accepted time range most PPC accounts manage to work with. If your campaigns still haven't received much traffic during the initial three days of running due to a limited budget, Give it a little more time. 
If this is not your case, you can get your hands dirty on day 8. Besides the initial step from day 1 to 7, you should also consider the next step. This is a long one, so make sure you take notes or visit our blog to access the written version of this complete checklist. First, take note of the actions you've taken so next time you optimize your account, you know what changes you made and quickly revert what didn't work out. You can always download the campaign builder template we created. The link to this sheet is in our video description. Second, measure your ad impression. You will have to review search impression share, search slot budget or search slot disk rank, top impression share, and absolute top impression share. Impression share metrics can give you a great indication of why a keyword might not be performed. You may be wondering, what are the acceptable rates? Don't worry, we got you covered. Your search impression share should be higher than 80%. If not, you can always increase your budget or narrow your location targeting. Your search slot budget should not be higher than 15%. To combat this issue, you should try pausing underperforming keywords, lowering your bids, or increasing your budget. Search slot strength should be below 15%. If not, make sure your increased bids work on your quality score and enhance negative keywords. A top impression share higher than 50% is acceptable. Depending on whether your lost top impression share is due to rank or budget, you should apply any of the previously mentioned actions. Absolute impression share should be at least 30%. If you're struggling with this KPI, revise it to a rank or budget and take actions accordingly. When increasing bids, be mindful that you increase the chances of exceeding your budget. You can always set up an automated rule to control budget and cost. Google Ads will send email alerts to you once your daily budget has hit your desired threshold. Third, revise your click volume reach and make sure you achieve at least an average of 10 clicks per day. To calculate your click volume, divide your daily budget by your average cost per click. If you're not receiving enough clicks, you may have to consider the following. Increasing your budget, reducing the bids for high TPC keywords, pausing high CPC keywords if they are underperforming, research for new affordable keyword variations, reducing CPCs by increasing your click through rate. If you are still dealing with high CPCs, you can always watch one of our previous videos where we show more detailed tips to decrease your campaign's cost per click. By now, you may have experienced a few conversions here and there. If not, then it would be wise to double check on the basics. Have you set up conversion tracking properly? How compelling are your ads? Consider offering a free trial or bonus, bringing up a problem and offering a solution, and generating curiosity. Also, feel free to check out our previous videos on the best practice for ad copywriting. What's the experience for your landing page? You can watch our videos on the best practices to create a landing pages that convert to find your website's areas of opportunity. That's a wrap for week one. Go ahead and set your calendar up seven days from now to get ready for that next upcoming optimization. Also, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications button as next week I will share part two of this video.